Yeah, right, folks, is it going? Is the timer counting in the corner? Huh? Oh, yeah, she's going. So, there's a small laceration there caused by this guy, whom always keep a sharp knife. Because if you have a dull knife, might as well have a spoon. <laughs> this guy, a little infected, as you can tell by how swollen she is. <laughs> kind of fat. So, sliced her open a couple spots. Seeing if I can't get something out of there. Using a razor blade. I don't know if there's something in there or what. But I tell you, that some bitch is painful. Trying to get her to drain. <laughs> really hate to have to go get an antibiotic. <laughs> well, not getting a whole lot of drainage out of that one. So, next step, best step, rubbing alcohol. Get it cleaned up good. Looks great. Just dry that off before you apply the super loop. Man's best friend here. Yeah, boy. We go through a lot of super glue around here. Yeah, we do. Just flying off the shelves. What you want to do is you just want to just dab over the whole thing. <laughs> yep. Not a spot left on done. <laughs> and you let that dry. Make sure not to get your fingers together. Yeah, because it, it will stick to your skin rapidly. This cut here, this one's almost good. Put another coat on that. Be back to work in no time. Oh yeah. Might have to touch this one up here. And I don't know if you guys know this or not, folks, but the, uh, the trick to getting super glue to set up immediately: water. Spit on it. Any type of liquid, actually. And I think I'm going to choose rubbing alcohol. She'll crust up, but she'll turn rock hard. See that one there? First of all, my brother cut that off. <laughs> so, it was already short-stemmed anyways, but... I had a razor blade, and I was cutting a piece of something. A piece of tape, and just, yee! Right across that thing. Right down. I felt it go across the end of my bone. Oh, and I looked at it, and uh, oh man, she was sliced wide open. You can see that big scar right there, right there, right through the tissue. And I was like, "Son of a bitch!" Oh yeah. Went and got the super glue, super glued the crap out of that thing, put one like four or five layers on it, made a little hard shell. Did like that four days, five days a week. Good as new. No Good stitches. as new. No stitches, nothing. Now, if we can get, keep this one from falling off, we should be good. <laughs> a little more See, crazy this glue. See, this is the uh, this is the step right before you m melt a sledgehammer to molten hot. Yep. If that don't work, we're taking the five pound sledge, heat it up with a torch, and then uh, just give her a whack. Just a good solid flat handled whack. You don't want to be a girl about it. 
<laughs> I don't. Give her a good hit. <laughs> like you're freaking setting a U joint. <clears throat> right. Well, folks, that's Dr. J's uh, tip for the day on uh, how to drain an infection and seal a laceration. We'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> I'm Craig T. I'm JCW. Out.